Did you do anything special to prepare for the course? A little bit. Uh, it's kind of advantageous that we raced uh, more or less the same course in 2019. Um, so sort of uh, my coach and I, Jim Lehman, we've been tailoring our um, intervals to sort of match the demands of what the course in Winter Park brings. Um, so a lot of like eight to 10 minute intervals, just trying to build that um, upper threshold power, short recovery times since the downhills are pretty fast. Um, so just as replicating the course as much as possible. Um, it's kind of unique right now. We haven't had um, races in a while and there's not any huge or super important races on the timeline. So it's been just really ideal to hundred percent focus in on this race and um, do everything as po- best as possible for it. Well, the desert is a really different style of riding compared to like riding up in the mountains. But uh, again, I would say uh, just getting up to places like Tricky Flats and the Mesa is very similar riding. And then uh, doing that race in Winter Park last weekend mm-hmm. uh, to get the feel for the roots again and getting close to trees and not hitting your handlebars and, and just preparing in that way. Nationals is a big goal for me. So my coach actually built a workout specifically for this course. Um, we worked our way up to four rounds of what was five minutes at I think it was like 110% of FTP and then two minutes of quote unquote rest, which was just high zone two. So I'd say 65, 70% of FTP and then 10 minutes at FTP and then between sets, five minutes of endurance. So like low endurance, so 55 to 60% of FTP and then that block, which I hope everybody can follow in their head of 22 minutes is repeated four times to try to mimic the demands of the course. And then to really just crush my soul, we have 30 minutes of tempo after that. And then 30 second sprints with one minute rest, have a big star next to this one. And it's a course that suits me and not, not to say I'm getting old, but XC may not be my entire focus moving forward. And it's a course that suits me and I've never won a national title. So I kind of just, I put all the, put all the eggs towards it and, and kind of full, full gas. I think my strategy, so I do a lot of climbing in general, which I feel like that's probably the main element of this course is it's a climb and descend. It's a long lap. Um, so nothing really particular for this course, uh, more just particular for this race. I think it's really important for me to do very race specific type of efforts. And by that, I mean, a lot of changes in pace, um, because in training, we tend to do these very specific intervals, but on race day, it's a little more staccato. You don't get to pick when you go hard and when you don't go hard. Um, so I've been working a lot on, uh, trying to force myself to, to, to go hard, maybe when I don't want to, and, and to change it up a lot. Not, well, I spent a little more time on my mountain bike, (laughs) having done uh, a lot of, or a bit more gravel focus uh, going into, uh, into unbound earlier this year. Um, So I've tried to get some skills back on the mountain bike, but for the, the course specifically this weekend, I've, been doing more um like there's a seven between seven and eight minute climb so i've been doing a lot of threshold and then sort of five minute attempted vo2 um intervals with sort of like five minutes vo2 with five minutes recovery in between sort of replicating what the lap might look like for yeah doing that and then a few few over unders but nothing I guess more trying to get that short, shorter, higher power um, than what you need for the long gravel races. Not necessarily. Uh, I kind of, I just got back from Europe racing world cups actually. So kind of mostly just tried to get acclimated at home and kind of had a bit of a season reset, kind of trying to focus on a little bit later in the season for some later world cups and world champs. So I'm kind of just, really focusing my training around that just kind of got back into some big hours coming into Nats, but always, always for a race. It's important like Nats backing off a little bit in the the week before letting your body recover from all the hard training you've been doing. And then 
just some, some small hard effort opener workouts during the week before my race to kind of get that body, get the body transferred over from just long hours training to getting a little bit of that snap back for uh, the actual XC race. We've just been riding our mountain bikes a ton. I think the course isn't super technical. Um, it's kind of a unique cross country course compared to what we are used to. It's just like one super long climb and then a long descent. Um, so yeah, just trying to get super used to our mountain bikes. Um, I am bringing planning on racing my hardtail, but that could change. Um, so yeah. It's really not that technical of a course. Um, you know, it's compared to like some of the world cups earlier this season, or even like the Fayetteville U S cup, it's pretty mellow. Um, really I've just been riding my mountain bike a ton. And I think that's, that's the best preparation that, that you could really do is just being super used to that position and how you feel on your bike. Um, I'm racing my full suspension. So I've been doing all of my intervals on my full suspension and, uh, just trying to get as much time as I can. Not really. Um, as we kind of alluded to earlier, this, this cross country nationals is almost more for me than for uh, a team or sponsors per se. And, and by that, I mean, I'm doing it just cause I want to, you know, it's not, it's not a mandated race for me. Um, I don't know that, you know, people are expecting me to come out and, and, you know, be charging at the front and, and battling for the win the whole time, just based on what I've been focusing the last few years. Um, but I really do love cross country racing still, even though my, my focus has shifted a little bit in the past years and, um, I've missed it some. And so while it's a little bit non traditional, maybe to have your first XCO race back be the national championships, um, I, I couldn't really look myself in the mirror and, and miss it. So, um, I'm, I'm really excited to be back. And, and I say all that to say, I, I can't really afford to change my training too, too much. Um, because I do have other events that have expectation from team and sponsors that are a little bit more focus, but fortunately this nationals course is, uh, quite climb heavy and not terribly technical and at elevation. And so more of the threshold sub threshold style training that I focus on anyway, uh, for my longer distance stuff should carry over, uh, more effectively than, maybe more European style XCO, which is obviously a lot punchier sea level, uh, VO two efforts over and over. So no, actually not really. I, mean, I know the course has like a eight, 10 minute climb and that's the bulk of it. But I think for me, I respond well to just kind of big volume training and like aerobic fitness is aerobic fitness. And it's, uh, up here at altitude. That's kind of the name of the game, I think. And I think you can get, if you get too detailed, you can get like kind of stuck too into the course and like, focus too much on those efforts and it's better just to like just to train you know not not look too deep into it if you like this video make sure you give us a thumbs up if you didn't like this video you can give it a thumbs down but let us know what you would have done differently in the comments below if you want to see more of these videos make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want to become a faster cyclist check out trainerroad.com do it